Okay, I decided to start a fresh account on the Japan server and I wanted to make this video on how to reroll and how to download the JP version. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to show this from the point of view of me on my emulator. I'm using blue stacks, but this can be also done on Android and iOS. However, for Android, just make sure your unknown sources is turned on. So you'll be able to download from the internet or a third party. And the first thing you want to search up is Q app. And it's the first link. You want to open with Chrome. And then where languages is, usually there'll be a button with uh, Japanese symbols. And then if it doesn't appear, just click the uh, Q app title on the left. And it should appear right next to game store. And you would just tap it. Then all the way at the bottom is the app download in blue. You just tap it, open up Chrome. And then it will prompt a download and then it will ask if you want to keep it. And if you uh, say yes, it will start downloading the app. The app. What the app does is lets you download the JP version of Grand Summoners. Also lets you download any other Jap Japan uh, mobile game. But we need this to start up uh, Japanese Grand Summoners and I'll be right back on app. Once you're done installing and setting up your Q app, your screen should look like this. But before we go any further, I want to say that in the description, I'm going to be putting the link to the Q app download so it can save you the hassling of searching it up. But anyways, let's get right back to this. At the top right, just tap that magnifying glass and then search up Grand Summoners at the top. And then two Grand Summoners should appear, Grand Summoners Global and Grand Summoners Japanese, and that's the one we want. And then at the bottom should be a blue download button, and you just tap it and it'll start installing. Currently, the Slime Collab is rerunning, and right now the Santa versions of the Slime Collab is also out. But I'm going to talk about the, what to reroll for currently, once we get into the reroll section. So you want to click install and let this load and then you just click open and it will take you straight to the app and then you just need to make an account. But I want to say this, that unlike uh, Grand Summoners Global, you cannot skip the tutorial. Like if you want to reroll, you have to go through the tutorial every single time and there's no way to skip it that I know of. But I'm going to create my name and go through the tutorial and then I'll be right back. So, yeah. So, once you're done with the tutorial, you should be choosing your starter unit. I want to say that on the left and right are the stats and the abilities of the Santa versions of the Slime Collab. And on the left is Santa Malims. On the top is Santa Xion. And on the bottom is Santa Rimuru. And I want to say that Santa Malim is probably the best pick from this banner. Because not only is she an R-Jenner, she also gives crit rate. And what makes her really good is that like Mako and the regular version of Rimuru, they can stack with, well, she can stack with any other unit except for herself. But like say she can stack with Finn. She can stack with uh, Dark Celia. She can stack with Zeta. She can stack with any type B, just like Mako and Rimuru. And then uh, the Santa version of Rimuru is like Sestina and Weaver with increasing the art gauge by 20 and having a type of buff ability on the true arts. And Xion is like more like a stacking unit like Goblin Slayer with her true arts stacking her damage. And her arts also stack her damage too. But let's get right into what you should be looking to reroll right now, currently. Uh, after choosing your starter unit, uh, any of them is okay to pick. I usually just pick Corsair for a freezing unit. But you should be showing a forever summon. What I would do is uh, usually reroll till I get a good forever summon like Vox or Burwick. And then see what I get from the banners. But for the sake of video, I'm just gonna go through it. Okay, let's see what we get. Cause usually, oh, Roy. 
usually this would make or break my reroll accounts. Because if I don't get like Vox or Berwick or like a, any good unit right here, I just uh, start a new one. Oh, this S. So you, you don't pick it. I'm just gonna wait. Every day it changes. That's what first sevens are. And then you get the guinea wheel. And then you will collect all your stuff so we can start rerolling. So I will go to my box and collect everything. Currently, if you accept everything right now, you'll get like 66 gems. But usually this randomizes depending on what, when you start, like what event you start on. And like what you get from the box will differ. Sometimes you start off with like less than 50 gems and you have to farm to reroll. But luckily we start out with 65 so we don't have to farm anything. So we can see what we get right now. I would recommend doing the first pull on the slime banner and hope to get Rimuru because she can stack with I me mean, he can stack with anybody really because he's a type ex and then after if you get Rimuru I would say try and go for Santa Malim because she's pretty good but I always recommend when you start a fresh account, your first summon on the 5 pool and on your equipment summon, the 3 pool, is always guaranteed. But after the first pool, it will uh, be randomized. So you never know what you'll get. So what I usually do is use a 5 crystal, see what guaranteed I get. And I will hope for Rimuru right here. But it don't like it will happen. And then nothing good from here and I'll say my priority will be getting Rimuru because she has better Arjun and she has uh, better stats overall so you will I would try for her and if I don't get the unit that I want to start off with after this point, after using the 50, I would just leave and just keep re-rolling. But I'm also going to put at the end of the video of how I translate everything because I don't speak Japanese myself. So, oh, or congratulations. This would be a good re-roll to stay on. But I'm going to put a translator, what translator I use on mobile because I usually play on mobile. Oh, Malim. This one wouldn't be a bad uh, reroll style if I get Rimuru here. But I already have a reroll account. I got it not too long ago. And I have Vox and Rimuru. And I'm trying to get Malim's clothes and Santa Malim for a good account to start off. But sooner or later, I'm going to start posting uh, summoning videos. So look forward to that. Oh, and Benny. This would be a good reroll account. It then. If I got like any units I like and I wanted to see if I can keep the account I would try a three pull on the equipment summon it's gonna be a guarantee and I'm gonna hope for Millim's cloth and I got a viper this wasn't a good reroll to start off with but I would just keep going and rerolling till I get a character I wanted so yeah, this is basically how you reroll on the Japanese server. You just go and reinstall it and then go through the tutorial again and just keep on going. So now I'm just going to uh, show you uh, what translator I use and it will be the end of the video. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back on BlueStacks and I'm going to show how, to, how I translate on Android and emulator. But for iOS, I'm not sure what you should use. You just gotta use that photo translator app. But I'm gonna show which one I use, and it's pretty easy to use. So I just go to uh, Google Play Store, type in translator camera. And then the one I use is 
the photo translator translate by camera by Everly app and then I'll install it wait a bit and then all you need to do is take a screenshot on your phone I'm gonna open it first so what you need to do is take a screenshot on your phone of what you want to translate allow you this to uh, access your uh, photos like any other app and then for detect languages just pick Japanese just gotta find it find Japanese translate to English and then you will tap this button on the left and then you will click allow uh, this is on emulator so it's kind of hard to translate but you would, it will ask you, uh, it will take you to your gallery and uh, pick what screenshot you want to use. And then you will just click translate and it will turn to English. So that's pretty much everything. I want to thank you all for watching. Expect some Japanese videos, just not all the time because I'm still a global player. And I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you. Oh, I could be all it is. Cause we are trying to find a way to feel